We're used to typing whole questions or sentences into search engines like Google, but that doesn't really work with library databases. Instead, we need to search keywords. Keywords are those ideas that are essential to our research, the really important words that describe what we want to find in our sources. Let's look at an example where we compare a Google search to a search in Academic Search Complete. In Google, I'll search how to prevent invasive species in the United States. I get about 84 million results. That shows there's a lot on my topic, but it's way too much for me to review quickly. It's hard to find what's helpful or to find ways to narrow my results. I also can't easily determine which types of sources I'm finding. Before we look at the database, I need to pick out my keywords from the sentence so that I know what I need to search. We have three keywords in our first search. Prevent, Invasive Species, and United States. We want all three of these ideas to be included in our sources. Without them, the sources won't be helpful to us. How to and in the are not keywords. None of those words express an important idea that must be included in the sources we find. In the library database Academic Search Complete, I'll search Prevent and Invasive Species and United States. The AND between each word means that it will only find sources that include all three concepts. I only get 258 results. That number of results is much more manageable. I can more easily review these to see if they're helpful or to find other keywords to revise my search. I can also easily tell if I'm locating academic scholarly journal articles. I hope this video is helpful. Using keywords in library databases takes some practice, but if you need help, you can always ask a librarian. Remember, we're here to help you.